Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy, A1 Solution. Anthony's One Solution. Uh, my name is Anthony. This is Anthony Anthony Vlogs and Games. This is live on my Twitch stream. Um, and I put these videos onto my YouTube. Um, you can always stop by my stream to check out these live if you want to. Um, but anyways, though, this is called Open Road. No idea what to expect, so enjoy. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, this is uh, the beginning here. Flip over. Uh, me, mom, grandma, Helen. Grandma's 80th. Oh, you can also read it, too, if you can't, like, read that. Okay. Pack up. Mom wants me to pack up my room to get ready for the move next week. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty close. Just a few more things left before I come ac across the do list. Okay, so we got a to-do list here. What is there to do? Huh? Is this the calendar? Oh, we got to pack up stuff? Pick up pamphlet. Helen Sophia Divine. Okay. Interesting. Uh, pick up pamphlet. Another one. Oh, it's just this. Oh, you just... Oh, I see you. So we got to pack up though, right? Pack up poster. Close enough. <laughs> Get movies from work. Help tag things from estate sale. Wash dishes. Pack up the rest of the room. Oh, did I do it? Did I do everything I needed? Pick up note. Uh, hey, Tess. We doing movie night at your place? Yes. Yes, we are. What movies are we bring? Are we? Are you bringing from work? It is comedy double feature night i'll give you a clue one clue as to which movies they're going to be what is it i already gave it to you Ooh, i wonder what the clue is maybe a double feature maybe she's talking about like maybe it's a horror comedy maybe who knows uh tess don't do this to me i gave you your clue <laughs> oh she's so silly Ooh, clueless <laughs> that's funny DVD. She loves these clues. Oh, blue. I found a clue, huh? Alright. There's some tape. Pick up hairbrush. Go back. Oh, I can pack it. Okay. Press X. Wait, do I have to do with all this too? No, I can't pack that. Okay. I, go, I can only pack certain things. Okay, I guess we're, uh, we're getting out of here. And so apparently our name is Tess. Oh, it's a birthday card. I'm gonna turn that off though. <laughs> uh, pick up matches. Pack up. Ah, Nevada. Home to all manner of folksy cryptids and cool dads. Heck yeah, there's some dialogue in this? Okay. Like in the, like these scenes. I, ooh, open. What's in here? A cute little kitty? Aw. Sorry for the lateness, test bear. Things get away from me here, but you're always on my mind. Aw. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Heck yeah, man. That's what I like to see. Some goodness there. Open up. What's in here? Oh, you just, okay, there's some stuff. Some stuff going on. Pick up tablets. Sasquatch. Married to Bigfoot. Ew. You're gonna have Bigfoot babies? Ew. Uh, search spots. Okay. So right now is the process of packing up. We, we know our name's Tess. Uh, we're moving out. And I think we have to get everything we need to get. Do I need to get anything else? Trash? Wait, trash? Wait. Open trash can. <laughs> Pick up the trash. Ew. Tess, that's disgusting. Oh, it's the yearbook. What's in here? Ah, class of 2003. So this is... So she graduated 20, 2003. I wonder what year it is. Francia... Well, there, there is a calendar over there. Let's go look at it. Uh, hey, bestie, want to make sure you want to miss this message? 
You, you, you could screenshot this, though, if you want to read all that stuff, but... Oh, I forgot I picked it up the freaking, uh... Picked up the calendar. Novus. Okay, we need that. Definitely need the school paper. 9-11, uh, yeah. Wow. That's crazy. I, I, I remember when 9-11 happened, man. I was in school. I was like, obviously I was in school. Well, yeah, I was in school. I mean, nowadays anything's possible now because well, I don't know. But regardless of that, I was when I was in school, this happened, and uh, I remember my teacher turning on the TV and like everyone was just like really sad. A mug. What a crazy time though, huh? Some nail polish, eraser. More nail polish. So we're gonna keep Grandma's pamphlet there though. Wait, there's no option I could take that, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Some things you don't take, though. Cause I, I am checking, though, so. Better leave these where mom won't see them. Oh, she's gonna fly somewhere? To De De Detroit? Ugh. I don't know if I wanna go to Detroit. Um, what's this, bubble wrap? Oh, you could pop bubble wrap. Ha ha ha. That's funny. The work Guess shirt. I'll have to pack this after my next shift. Oh. Okay. Oh, you can turn. You can turn stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, can I leave this room now? Head downstairs. Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh... This? Gah! <laughs> I love it! Where did this masterpiece come from? Your Aunt August made it. When she was a kid. It's Lady, the dog we had when we were growing up. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about... The estate sale was... Weird. Having all those people in the house, peeking through Grandma's stuff. I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom. I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Wanna just... Take a minute and look around and see what's left. I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell picture. <laughs> Amazing that no one bought it, right? Just shocking. <laughs> uh, so you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Oh, oh my god. Uh, Just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know. Most of Grandma Helen's stuff was sold off in the estate, so I haven't really had a chance to look around and see what's going. Pick up brush. <laughs> the dog picture. Oh, that's so adorable. I love it. I love it, man. I would keep that. I don't know why. I don't know why she doesn't want to pack that though. You gotta pack it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick a book. Hey, mom. The column was popular, wasn't it? For a little while, yeah. I felt really lucky that I got to ask her for advice face to face. I remember when we went to that one book signing when I was a little kid. 
You remember that? Yeah. I mean, people in the audience seemed so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... I think she saved her special advice for me. Well, she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> three mortgages. <sighs> Pick up calculator. Mallet. It's where, where the horror story starts, man. So I wonder what kind of game this is like. Is it about uh, them moving out, out of their grandma's house? Or moving all their stuff out of their grandma's house? Like all the stuff? All her things? Open fuse box. Why would I do that? Can I close it? I don't want no one to get hurt, man. There's a reason why it's closed. <laughs> right? Let me know down in the comments. Would you leave your fuse door open? Let me know. Next time. I go outside. Pick up Fedora. Ooh, so dapper. Was mm. this grandpa's? You want to know what's interesting? I never, I never. So I have one of those stories where I never got to meet my grandpa. Um, I, I was born after. Since it brought up grandpa. Um, yeah. Very, very. Look at this flashlight right here. I mean, not a flashlight. Freaking light. <laughs> Okay, so uh, most of Helen's stuff was sold off in the city. I haven't really had a chance to look around. So... Oh, am I supposed to stay down there? And like look around and stuff like that? Is there a plunge? Oh, wait, uh? Look at the plunger. Wonder what's inside of it. <laughs> um... I look at the paint. And the... Trash can, trash, her seat. Ooh, fuse, fire, file box. I don't think there's anything else in here though. Oh, this, oh, article, age 43 years of Orange State. He was a veteran in the Second World War serving as a sur surveyor. Um, Helen, oh. Wait, so what was her husband in the World War? Surviving are his wife, Helen, and his daughter's Opal at August. Funeral arrangements under the direction of Milton family. Wow. Huh. So I can't take that? I can't, like, uh, pocket that? No. <laughs> the five finger discount? I'll steal all your notes. Oh, it's an ID. Look at this. <gasps> Grandpa Leo was a... An inspector for the county. What's that mean? He inspected things for the county. Oh, <laughs> great, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Commercial buildings, mostly. When we were driving around town, he'd point out the ones he'd inspected. I remember he was very proud of inspecting the department store. You know, the big one on Old Main Street. Every foot of electrical, fire sprinklers, alarm system, everything. He'd say he was the only thing keeping half the buildings in town from burning down. Electrical fires are no joke. Bro, my phone died again. <laughs> um... Uh... Pick up mallets. Uh, I mean, have I have I seen everything? Did she want to see the dustpan? Okay, well, most of the stuff. Hmm. What else do we need to do here, Ma? Have I looked at everything? Fedora. Detergent. <laughs> Got some toilet paper. Okay. Is there a objective here? Okay. 
No. Why isn't this in the fridge getting cold? Come on, Mom. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, what am I supposed to do? There's no, like, indication of, like, what I'm supposed to do. Who are these people? Mom's friends? Huh. And invite you to share the joy wedding celebration on Saturday. Oh, June? My birthday's in June. Look at that. It's uh six days before. Nice. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Do I just like look around and stuff like that? I'm surprised there's no dialogue for that. Like, ew, why is this here? You should throw this away in the trash. Ooh, photo. Oh, this wow. we're we're doing it right. Was nice. This, was this taken right here? Cool. That's Grandpa. Mm-hmm. Probably only a year before he died. Of a heart attack. Yeah, very sudden. But I guess that's how heart attacks are. Uh, same with my grandpa. My grandpa had the same issue. Uh, it's a bucket. A bucket to piss in? It's a jacket? No. More drinks, some cigarettes. Ugh, Mom. Please quit already. The dust buster. Could use that to clean up the house. But uh they are doing that. Oh, it's another picture. Mom! Did grandma start dressing like this after you moved out of the house? Mm-hmm. After my father passed, my mother, well <laughs> turned into a hippie. A bit of a free spirit, let's say. Doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. I think it might have. To push her in the opposite direction. Interesting. Pottery. Ooh. Oh, good. Some of Grandma's pottery didn't get sold. I loved watching her at the potter's wheel when I was little. Had she been doing pottery her whole life? Honestly, I think it's something else she picked up after my dad passed. Like the advice column? No, she was doing that since I was a kid. Did Grandma... Was she ever with anyone else after Grandpa died? Whoa, where did this come from? Well, she just seems so vivacious. You'd think some man would be interested. Yeah, no, I, not that I know of. Yeah. Wow, she's she was a really good she was good at this. I mean, I'm terrible at this, so I mean, anything looks better than mine. <laughs> I think I did some of this pottery stuff in school. I'm not sure. I forget. Some of the last pottery your grandmother made. Yep. After her fine motor skills started to go. It's still kind of beautiful. I miss her a lot. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Wow, she was really into the the pottery. That's really cool, man. Yeah, my my grandma never really uh, you know, never went for uh, that. Look at, look at pick up tool. Look at all this pottery, man. She was so good at it. Wow. Wow, she even has a ch she has a chart for it. Papers, I don't know if they're like grade or something like, like grades. Okay. Hmm. Maybe the candles? She like candles? No. It's a drink there. Obviously, everything we see is her grandma's because this is obviously her house here. So everything we see, you probably should find some interaction. Do I go up? Can I go upstairs too, as well? 
I'm sure I can because this is. Oh hey. Oh. It's August. Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But <laughs> that's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember, and the answer is still no. I. Well. The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not gonna help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go. Okay, and we gotta go upstairs. Nice, we got all that stuff done. Red and black book. Been in there, that's our room. More cigarettes. Oh, she's so she's smoking inside. Oh, all the way to the all the way to the brim, bro. Oh my god, you crazy. Well, cigarettes are bad, but man, smoking all the way to the brim, bro. That's so that's way worse because all that chemical stuff's at that end. Yeah, that's terrible. Oh, somebody bought Grandma's old writing desk and her typewriter. He said he was an advice columnist, too, and wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He left a very nice note. And a lot of money? Well, it was just an old desk. But it had sentimental value. For us, maybe. And for him, obviously. Can I see the note? Sure. Hey. Your mother has always been an inspiration, not just me, but to an entire generation of writers and readers. I can't tell you how much peace she brought me over the years to be able to write where she did. Well, I hope a little of her magic crosses over to me. Yours, Ben Gerber. Huh. Well, okay. I guess it's alright that he got it. Glad you approve. Okay. A little Gerber? A little Gerber action? Uh, what's that say? Dear readers, it's been a delight and an honor and a privilege to write to you over the years. Few people are lucky enough to say that they love their job. Learned so much. I hope I might have taught you some a little something too. Uh, I'm always stuck by your passion, drive to succeed and do better. Um, talked about the worst of humanity. You will always be an inspiration. Um, so pretty much, they want to be considered friends. That's the goal there. Um, have you ever received advice from Millie? If you have a story of how Millie changed your life for the better, send a letter to Dear Millie Box. Los Angeles, California. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oops. Hey, Mom. Want to know something? Your grandmother didn't write this. I did. You did? Why you? Hmm? Well, you're not like a... a writer. Well, I don't know. I think I did okay. No, I, I mean, you did great, but... You know, I don't know. Were you surprised when they asked you to do it? Mm, I, I think her editor, she just wanted it to be from someone she was close to. I guess she was hoping for a... family voice. I just tried to put myself in Millie's shoes. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Thanks. 
Ah, interesting. I remember hiding in here with a flashlight to read my books when I was a little kid and we were visiting Grandma. And a box of crayons, apparently. We'd come to visit and I'd hunker down in here for hours. If some kind of game in my head, I guess. I'd be hiding in here and I'd hear Grandma out there in her room, typing away or just reading in bed. I know she knew I was in there, but she'd always pretend not to know. And I'd pretend she had no idea I was hiding. I don't know why. I just liked the feeling of knowing she was out there. I have only slipped away into the next room. Somewhere very near, just around the corner. The poem you read at Grandma's funeral. Mm-hmm. You you want to know it's crazy? Um, I was thinking about this the other day when I was when I was younger, right? Um, when my when my grandma was alive, um, she she had a piano and I used to play with it all the time. I used to like just like mess around and just like do random stuff with it. I I just uh, it was just so interesting how she kind of explained something similar, you know, just kind of like. Cause I also I also used to hide I I don't know if I would hide inside the the uh, uh what you call it the clo like whatever she was talking about like hiding on the door or whatever but in my situation oh sorry in my situation um I would hide into my room I don't know in, into her closet like there's a closet with with all her shoes and all that stuff right her closet was pretty big it was pretty big it was like you know kind of like a bathroom size whatever but um. I would just go in there and I would just like hide in there for some kind of kind of like sixth sense, but in a but this is a more peaceful a sense, you know what I mean? I just I don't know why I did it. I just like it, I didn't do it always. I was I was just like sitting there and I don't know. It was just like me questioning darkness or something. I don't know, dude. You can t perceive it any way you want it. It is reality, you know. But I don't know, man. It was just it was just interesting how that story kind of, you know, triggered that memory there. Um, and, and you know, want to know something too? I used to always do. I used to, uh, well, I did it a couple times. Not always. I did it because always more, always, always is more like, hey, I did it every single time I went there. But, you know, I did it a couple times. I, I called the, the police or whatever, the firemen. I don't know how to. Like, I don't know. Like, how, how did I know how to call that number? Like, did I just... I don't know. It was so strange. I, I, I remember... You know, the funny thing is, is, like, if I think if I think hard enough, I can remember it, right? I can remember me doing it. I just don't know why. I, 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 I It's so weird because if I think hard enough, man, just hard enough, I can literally just, like, picture myself there, sitting there dialing the number, but I don't know why I did it. I was a kid, though. Maybe that could be it, too, but... But how the heck did I know the number and I called it twice too? That's crazy. I was that smart, bro. <laughs> I literally I called the same number twice. And they they got mad too. They got mad. They were like, yo, like, we know we know he's messing around, but you know, he can't be calling us, you know. It got to the point where I almost got my parents in trouble. <laughs> hey, Ma. Uh actually maybe I should just put this back. What does it say? Sorry to hear that mom's doing worse. I've been thinking about her a lot lately. I know this is a sore spot, so it's the last time I'll bring it up. I really wish you'd let me help with mom's medical bills. I get that you'd rather have me there in person to help, but I just can't get away from work long enough to make this hap make that happen. I'm sorry that money is the only thing I can provide right now. But that's just the solution we're in. If you're stressed about e everything you have to do, you can always send Tess down here for a weekend again. I love hearing, I love having her around. Call me if you need anything new, mommy. I love August. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have read that, but we read it though. We read it. She's the family, man. It's okay. Ooh, a put. Oh. This? Oh, it's a hook pole thing to pull down the hatch to the attic. Could August's book be up in the attic? With Grandma's things? Could be. All right. We can go up there, but... You go first.
All right, man. We are going to end this here. Um, I like this game. It's so chill, man. So chill. Um, but yeah, we found a weird hook pole thing. What the heck do do you call these things anyway? Well, at any rate, I should be able to use this to pull down the steps to the attic. So I think we're gonna. This is a good spot to end it. We got a little cliffhanger here. We're gonna go see what's in the attic. Um, yeah, I might be dropping the same day. So if you see this, hopefully you enjoy it, man. It's a very chill game. Um, you know, it might bring some nostalgia to your to your childhood or something, man. It might might come home, might be a little heartwarming. Um, I felt like playing this game. I felt like it'd be a chill game to play. So I did. I don't know too much about it, but you know, I felt like uh, playing it. Um, I like it. It's very simple, chill, and it's just nothing chaotic about it. It's just you kind of just couch play it. You uh, go through the story. You figure out the memories and you know who these people are. The grandma, you know, she was something else and uh her father her grandpa was in the war i believe but her her grandma after her after his passing she after his pat yeah after his passing she started getting into po into pot pottery and i feel like she didn't want to date anyone else because she really loved this person she was just like you know i don't really want to date anyone you know i, I don't you know I, I respect it some people you know they just they, they rather be loyal even in the soil you know what i'm saying and uh you know i i respect it you know it must have been lonely for her but you know she found a hobby and i respect that man she found something she loved and you know she was really good at it man you saw the poetry right you know i'll show you a little screenshot of it you know again because you know, i think this game is great so i'm gonna do it so but um you know a lot a lot of things she was talking about is very hitting home with me like it's like i'm i have fla i'm getting flashbacks of like just things in my childhood and you know, um, just a great game. This is on Game Pass, by the way. Uh, my name is A1 Solution. Uh, you can go check this out. Um, this is my stream here. I stream live on my Twitch. And uh, thank you for watching this on my YouTube, because I do put this on my YouTube. And uh, make sure you like the video, comment down below, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell notification. Get notified every single time I go live, every, every single time my videos go live. And it makes it easier for you, so you don't have to scroll, look through my page. Um, and stuff like that. So Diablo's posted. Uh, gonna drop a Hot Wheels video probably after this video, um, and then Diablo's gonna gonna get Dia drop Diablo tomorrow as well. So, uh, so look forward to that. We got a lot of content coming, man. Um, I'm I'm loving this. Thank you. Thanks to the people that support my channel and uh, have an A1 day. It's your boy A1. Thank you for joining the A1 train. Choo choo. And we out here busting fuego. This is my story, my destiny, my story, my journey. We out here doing things, man. I ain't ever gonna stop. I ain't ever gonna stop, man. We out here having fun. I just want uh, people to smile and have a great time. And that's my goal. And anyways, though, stay safe. Stay hydrated. And uh, have an A1 day. A1 out. Peace. All right. Yeah, also, too, my socials will be in the description. So if you want to go check out my socials, Instagram, Twitter, and also my YouTube link, if you if you want that there, is there, too. And also going to have playlists for these games as well. So for Diablo, Hot Wheels, this game. So anyways, though, peace out. A1 out. Kick it!